Ace of Base were catapulted to global stardom in the early 90s with hits such as All That She Wants and The Sign. Their album of the same name became one of the biggest selling debut albums of all time and the entire decade. But behind the clean cut image and pure pop sound, one band member was hiding a dark past. And the huge success came at a price, with Jenny experiencing firsthand the dark side of fame, which also took its toll on her sister Lynn. So many questions, let's find out. Soon after the band hit the big time in the early 90s, reports began to emerge that Ulf Ekberg had been a neo-Nazi skinhead in the 80s and had even been in a Nazi punk band called Commit Suicide. According to a report published in 2017 from the media website Vice, Commit Suicide were based in Gothenburg from 1984 to 86 when Ulf was aged between 14 and 16. In 1998, when Ace of Base were still having hits around the world, a small Swedish record label did a limited release of Commit Suicide's music. They only produced 1,000 copies and the cover was a shocking photo of Ekberg giving a Nazi salute. The album includes racist lyrics that don't even bear repeating. If such a revelation like that emerged today in our media saturated world about a high profile entertainer, it would be hard to imagine how their career would ever recover. So how did someone like Ekberg even end up in a pure pop band like Ace of Base? Well in summer 1990 a young Swedish musician by the name of Jonas Berggren was getting ready to play a live show with his band. But their bass player had decided to bail on the gig so he could attend a Rolling Stones concert instead. So in step Berggren's friend Ekberg who became the band's new bass player. Speaking to E! Entertainment in 2013, Ekberg had this to say about his past before joining Ace of Base. Commit Suicide was a new wave music band creating and performing electronic music on synthesizers without any political touch or agenda. The racist songs on the demo were not by us, but our potential association with such groups is a matter I truly regret. I have always been deeply regretful of that period in my life as I strive to bring happiness to people and during that period I did not live up to that standard. I have not been involved in violence or political activism in the past 25 years. However, I find some of my thoughts from those days nauseating to myself today. Those opinions were based on poor judgment and ignorance. I'm truly deeply sorry for any hurt and disappointment this has caused for our fans. And I really hope that we clearly have stated that Ace of Base never shared any of these opinions and strongly oppose all extremist opinions on both the right and left wing. My past is my own and only I can own up to it. When Ace of Base started quieting down in the early noughties, Ulf reinvented himself in the business world. On his LinkedIn page, he describes himself as a global serial entrepreneur and investor. Sounds fancy. With more than 30 years experience focusing on tech, sustainability and impact investment. His LinkedIn page also features a photo of him with Joe Biden. His academic background is impressive and his LinkedIn page shows that he attended Harvard for a year, which of course is one of the top universities in the world. He's also a board member and a senior advisor for a number of companies and banks and there are plenty of glowing endorsements on the page from his colleagues and his peers. But Ulf's teenage past has dogged the memory of Asa Bates. Jenny speaking to the Western Australia newspaper in 2016 had this to say about it. It's a story that comes and goes. It's his past but because I am in the same band people mix it up with being my past. I hate it and I'm against it but I can't change everybody. I can only change a few. And Ulf's dark past was not the only challenge the band had to contend with. In 1994, just as the band were cracking America, Jenny was the victim of a knife attack in her own home. Speaking to Scotland's Daily Record newspaper in 2016, Jenny had this to say about the attack. I was attacked by a German fan. She woke me up with a knife to my throat. She broke into my parents' house when I was staying there after two years away. I woke up and she was standing there over me with the knife. I was terrified. Berggren's mother bravely tackled the attacker and managed to disarm her but in the process received stab wounds in both hands. It is believed the attacker had hidden in nearby woodland and had stalked the family in the days leading up to the incident. She was subsequently banned from returning to Sweden. Speaking to the Daily Record in 2016, Jenny Berggren talked about how she struggled to cope in the aftermath of the devastating attack. 
I remember just after I was attacked, I found out that we were number one in the United States. Everyone was like, wow, let's have a huge party. I didn't want a party, I was broken. All I could think was that I almost got killed. I was only 22 or 23 at the time. Soon after, it became apparent that Lynn had started to take a backseat in the band, a move many speculated was triggered by the attack. Speaking to the German magazine Bravo in 1998, Jenny said, Malin never got over the attack. She would only like to make music and keep herself out of the limelight. She went on full speed for four years and then she lost her energy totally. For the band's 1998 release, Flowers, Lynn took a very noticeable backseat. She no longer sang lead vocals and during performances she stood at the back playing keyboards. Her appearances were cut in the videos and she no longer mimed her vocal parts. And in promo photos her image was often blurred. Different explanations were offered at the time for the noticeable shift in her behaviour, including problems with her vocal cords and a fear of flying. In an interview from the 90s, Lynn had this to say about her experiences with fame and the music industry. All this wasn't my plan. For me, this is too big, especially with the success in America. It doesn't look like it, but it costs a lot of psychic energy to push yourself to success on this level. We have to push forward, but I just can't. I want to push backwards. The the guys wanted success but not like this. It's too big for all of us. Europe is a big market. We can live on it very well. It would be good to be able to go to America and be left alone. The situation reached a crisis point when the band were recording Every Time It Rains in 99. Jonas recently spoke about it on his Facebook page. Clive Davis, the legendary music executive who was head of their American record label, wanted the band to record the song. When Clive Davis said we had to record every time it rains, he wanted Lynn to record it. She didn't want to, Jenny wanted to. Jenny went to record it, but Clive found out that and called Lynn and threatened her to record the song anyway. She went very sad and recorded it, and you can hear she doesn't like it on the recording. After this, she just wanted to get out of this business, and I understand her. Such bad behaviour of him. Jonas remarked in other interviews that the situation was very difficult for the sisters and speaking to the website Renowned Sound in 2015, he had this to say about it. I don't like that track one bit. It killed us so to say. The tipping point anyway. Her last appearance was in the unspeakable music video in 2002 and she officially left the group sometime in the mid noughties even today, Lynn has no presence on social media and has completely disappeared from the spotlight, seemingly without a trace. When asked by ABC News in 2015 about the possibility of a reunion, Ulf had this to say, Lynn will never be part of that if it happens. She left the band and we promised her to never even ask her to come back. She's done with the entertainment industry. It's understandable. It's brutal from the inside. It was not for her. She has no craving to be famous. She loved her fans, but the fame factor was not for her. So a reunion may be off the cards, but Ace of Base fans will always have the music. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on anything in this video, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.